Hello everyone, I'm Ladash and I'll be here, Fall of Porcupine, Fall PC. So the game came out today, it's developed by uh, Critical Rabbit and published by Assemble Entertainment. I played the demo of this game on, a st I think it was on the Steam Next Fest, if I'm not mistaken, and it was pretty cool, the game, I liked it. Uh, uh, the, how the game is, you know, like very cozy, some, uh, there was a cool mini game that was like uh, healing some patients, healing, it, you know, doing some stuff on the patients. So finally the game came out, and of course, I'm here to check it out, so uh, let us start and see it. Of course, you don't play as a porcupine, you play like a pigeon, of course. The follow porcupine is a story set in a healthcare environment, it contains plot points that deal with issues related to stress, illness, death and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contact with fans or a professional for support. Ah! So cute, uh, that's a weird porcupine, probably, because it has leaves. I know the demo ended in, uh, like, spawns part. That I remember. But of course, this game, like, there will be other mini games, at least they show on the Steam tra on the trailer. Uh, so there will be other mini games, like fighting or something like that. I wonder what the hell is about that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like, of course, then there's a lot of dialogue because, like, a narrative game. Okay, where else do we go? Probably to the right, always to the right. Ah, yes. Uh, the sun. Yeah. Hey, Finley. Nice to see you at last. Uh, why the long face? Uh, no reason. I I wasn't expecting to run into my houseplant here. Who were you expecting? Your washing machine, perhaps? By the way, we need to talk about her. The way my, my pot vibrates when you set her to speed. No. I don't know. I f think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would, would that be? I have no idea. But it was important, and I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember what it was, it will, couldn't have been that important. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course, come on. Uh, just take a look at this meadow. The lush br grass, the bright, warm sun, and this wonderful soothing music. How can you worry when you see that? Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music, though. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Oh yes, there's music. There we go. Better. Yes, I like this. Colomondo. Just let your leaves dangle. Leave your worries by the wayside. Yes, yes. I should go do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great, that's what I wanna hear. Lost things always turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home. I might do that. I'm gonna have a little look around. It's so beautiful here. I want to pick out my spot carefully. Sure, the choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Fino. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you can jump. Let's say to talk over here. Well, hello there, buddy. We meet again. How goes the relaxation? Did you find the person you were looking for? It's going quite well. I don't have a clue what you are talking about, person. Oh, it's not that important. I'm just here to help you relax. That's why I need to know what you are doing, right? Yeah, that's true. So, what are you going to do now? I don't know just yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him. That's Hugo. We went to the universe together. It's great to climb around on. Uh, I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore though. Not since I got aphids. Wanna give it a try? Sure, why not? But I don't think I can get past the giant flower. Hold on, we'll have to that sorted in no time. What the hell? See, no problem at all. No problem. The whole ground was shaking. Ogu's quite sticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him. And don't break any of his leaves off. He prides himself on his great foliage, you know? I won't. Uh. Ok, 
grab over here, okay. Oh, you need to go over here. Hello, Finstar. Up here. Oh, how do you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into the water? Seriously? I thought we were just going to chill. Besides, it looks pretty deep. I think it is, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Well, whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more a partial shake kind of guy. Besides, I'm prone to overwatering. Chicken. Oh, I move. Was I through the right thing to do? He said to go to the, he wanted to go uh, to the water, so. Swim, Finley, swim. You made it after all. You know me, I never pass up on a good time. Are you alright? I'm going to catch a cold. Then you'll need to take care of me. Go shopping for me. Do my tax. The water's lovely. I don't know what you're talking on about. No, I don't like water. So you want me to stop watering you then? That's different. You wouldn't understand. It's a flower thing. Actually, maybe we could get out of here. All right, all right. This has to be a fucking dream. <laughs> what the hell? I don't remember this. He said that starts from the town square. Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it. No response. Or rude. Do I go forward? Is it? We are on the beach now. The Finn Master, there you are. What took you so long? You are looking better again. Hey, who can be down when you are down at the beach? The moment when the excess water disappears and you feel the first tickle of photosynthesis kick in. There's nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. I forgot. I forget everything around me. Who are you again? Finley, you live with me. Pina gave you to me. Oh fuck, I forgot to read the rest. Finley, Fonley, Dingley, Dongley. It's all the same to me right now. Oh yeah, this place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. You sure do have some strange notions. So have you found what you're looking for yet? No, but I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congratulations, you have found someone. Your very best flower buddy. Now grab yourself a drink and lie down on sand. We haven't had a vacation in a long time. I... I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. Alright, but don't get sunburned. After all, I'm not an aloe vera. Ouch. Ooh. So how the hell do you walk down? Yeah, I don't know how you walk like you choose to go down in here. Yeah. How do you, how the hell do you choose to go down? Yeah, how the hell do you do this? Oh, probably you need to jump in here. Yeah. Holy shit! We are in the clouds now. Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where... Where Mr. Arndus, Arndus is? Mr. Arndus. I was looking for Mr. Arndus. He's a patient of ours. And it's a peer. I was taking the elevator and something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arndus. Otherwise something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversation, but I got a feeling something happened to Mr. Arndus. We'll catch up again soon, I promise. The elevator. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Arns has to be here somewhere. Hello, Mr. Arns, can you hear me? Well, I remember it was in this place that uh, I think the damn will end, like something will happen and it ended. We are already over here in this part. Platforming. Where's Mr. Arndus? <gasps> no. Thought that door was open, I thought it would be that. Hello? Is someone there? There are boxes full of documents and photos on the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on the interior sign. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should. Uh, there's someone back there. Mr. Arns, is that you? Imagine go having an old hospital like this and you going to to there alone. That's blood. It's still fresh. And you go? Come on. Finley, please. <laughs> Body. Mr. Arns, you are bleeding. Don't move. Uh, what? Who? Who are you? Just stay calm, I'm gonna help you. <gasps> oh my god. Is there anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? Someone pushed those things into the top of us. I don't remember if it was like this that happened in the end of the dam. It's hard to remember, it's been a while. But I know it was in this old hospital, you see the blood and then something will happen. The alarm. Oh, press I. Ah, the fucking alarm. Hope you're feeling well again, glad you are coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat and you can finally tell me what, about what happened. God, there's a lot of things, a lot of conversation. So this is what happened after that, huh? Man, another of those weird dreams. I, uh, I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. Oof. Okay, nothing else up for it. Time to get up. Nice pyjama. Oh, the flower. There you are. Just standing there in your pot as if nothing happened. You have given me quite the restless night. It's alright for you. You don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in your pot tonight, there will be trouble. Ooh, TV. I used to, ga to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. She always kicked my butt in the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Fat chance. I haven't touched the thing since I moved in. Whoa, that was pretty cool, the dressing. Oh, shit. No, oh, there was something else in there and uh, I thought that was the door to get out. Now I can't go back in into my house. Shit. Uh, what the hell is this? I can't talk. Some people have bakery within walking distance or a grocery store. I have a used clothes container. Different, but just as practical. I don't know where I'll do. I need to go, like, uh, what direction, I mean. I'm going to the left. The sewers. Man, that stinks. Either there's standing water in there that's been there for years, or it's home to an evil clown with terrible halitosis, making a joke on it. Ah, yes, of course. It's so easy. Someone seems to have set up a fishing spot here. There's a note on the camp chair. Dear readers, time and place are two loose threads that don't always come together. Some call it destiny, I call it chaos, order life. And using this dot right now are part of it. Consider yourself lucky. But please don't sit in my chair. I'll know right away if you take my place. Regards, F. 
Huh, looks like these are egg servant. It's kind of nice watching the train shove off into the distance. Seeing a train always makes me want to go traveling myself. Okay, you cannot go this way, man. I think. But uh, uh, there was uh, a little bit of uh, talking about it because of the sewers. Oh, yes, of course. It's always nice when games do that, you know, talk about movies or other games, series, you know. It's always nice making uh, like uh, uh, reference to things like that. <gasps> the bike, pick up the bike. That bike's been here there ever since I moved here. So either someone moved it or I forgot it, or it's not biking season here. If it's still there, come winter, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. Uh, the fuck is that? Can I talk to him? Morning, family. Running late. Hey, sussy. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Most nights I don't dream at, at all. But sometimes I dream that I'm running just on the spot for no reason. That definitely comes from work. I heard Louis Colbert's having trouble sleeping too. He's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to be. I mean, I'm not complaining. Less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your runs already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm finished already, just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? Well, the post won't post itself. True, but I should post myself to the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you, don't get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. Oh. Is it? What else is this? Note. Susie. Susie is the only male carrier in Porcupine. She knows everyone perhaps a little too well. I get the impression that she's a little too nosy for her own good. Of course. There's a note here. Of course, the city's bus is out of service until further notice. We ask for your understanding. Look on the bright side. We feel priced the way they are. Walking the better option anyway. We hope to see you traveling with us again soon. So it's me just fine. Why did I buy a monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? <laughs> you got Robert Finley. Robert! From here I can get to the old town on the ice, on the ice street. It's weird that paths for ice street in a small town. All I know is that peanut store is there, but I shall check out the street when I'm free sometime. The old town lives up to its name, at least. Small, crooked, old house, the town hall, town fountain. And Gilbert's, of course, the best and only pub in Park Pine. And best of all, both routes lead to St. Ursula Hospital. We're going this way then. Since we need to go to the hospital. I wanted to see if you could run, but I don't think you can run. I think he's already running. Oh, you can talk to this guy. Good as you are a fast walker. Are you being chased by a, a rolling boulder? Good morning. No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passed, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, I started at St. Ursula's Hospital for a few weeks ago. So you are a doctor? Yes, well, almost. A junior doctor. That marvels. People like you are just what Porcupine needs. My name is Adele von Witterstein. I'm Porcupine's oldest citizen. I've seen many people come and go. Some were in a hurry. Some stayed to this day. You, I'm guessing you are the erring type. Am I right, doctor? Yes, but only because I need to get to work. Well, one should never throw rocks into the rushing rapids. But when you have moments sometime, I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have any questions. I might just take you up on that. Thanks for the offer. I see it as my calling. But for now, full steam ahead. They are younger folk than me to keep alive here. Okay. 
the oldest citizen. Gilbert is a pretty good place to go. Not that there are any alternatives really. I'll be back here soon enough. Good morning, Giuliano. Long time no see, Philly. Yeah, I was laid up in bed for a while. Thought as much. The band that gives you away. Everything good with you? I'll be alright, yeah. I'm sure you will. You want to cool that lump on your head with a nice cold drink just to come by any time, okay? Thanks, Giuliano. I might just take you up on that. Sometimes it's like you need to go with the mouse in here. Knowing a little bit more about the people of uh, Porcupine. Oh, this is what's the statue on the dream. That's the big town fountain. It's a statue of Nino's life on a to the founder of Porcupine. What's up, Nino? Why isn't water running? Seems to be broken. Are we the only one that's a pigeon? I don't see any other pigeon. Looks like we are the only one. We are the only pigeon in the porcupine. This was the old truck, wasn't here last time I came to work. It's locked to suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? Treasure, perhaps? A dead body? A dead body? Maybe even 10 dead bodies. Is there super secret alien technology inside you? Are you the truth of all things? The answer to the great question of the universe? Come on, reveal your secrets. Oh, someone sleeping in there. There's a bike in there. There's a plague on the tree. This ancient park has stood here since the foundation of the town of Porcupine. Nino Slav on a to found of Porcupine planted himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He found the town and built himself a house. And on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. 40 days later, he found them on this very spot. Sounds like something I will do. Jesus. This probably saying that is to the hospital. Okay. It's too far away from the house. We need to ride a fucking bike to the hospital. Yeah, there is bus, but there is no fucking bus. Good morning, Mr. Bus Stop. A lot I've been hopping off here some time ago. Coffee in there, nice and relaxed. Well, maybe tomorrow. You can't slack off every day, Mr. Bus Stop. Because the bus are, uh, aren't working. Fuck! Ride the fucking bicycle, dude. You squeal, we heal. This hatch out here every day. From down to dust, come rain or shine, never complain. How do you do it? Regular sleep, probably. Balance meals. Exercise three times a week. Well, I can dream. Ah, yes. Ah, the hospital. We have reached the hospital. Okay. The goal of a machine, a handy source of breakfast, or an end of shift reward. Of course, it's been broken ever since I started here. But hey, it's important to have concerts in life. Still, I won't say no to a shock dog right now. Every morning they gleam through the glass, laughing at me, just like they have been doing since before I was even born, and still will be long after I'm gone. They will outlive us all. Thousands of years from now, alien beings will dig up this vending machine. What was this machine's purpose? What primitive civilization created? That's what they will ask it themselves. Perhaps with their advanced technology, they'll be able to actually get the, at the tasty treats. You got a long way to go, vending machine. No, we changed immediately. Morning, kiddo. So you're back, huh? Morning, Ingrid. Yes, my nature's healing up nicely now. I heard about your accent, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I thought it through several times and it makes sense. So what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well, 
We have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine, a sophisticated technical term that aims to define social and the anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. What the term is? Klutz. Just kidding, kiddo. He holds Mr. Arndt. The old duffer still alive, making himself close in his bed on your ward again. Phew, okay, I'm really glad to hear that. You've only been here a short while, but because of that night, people know you now. You are the boy who survived. Very funny. He he he. But seriously, people might still have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyway, my coffee is getting cold. I need to swing your button over to your ward. On the fourth floor, in case the dent in your noggin caused more damage than without. I know where my ward is. That's good. Hop to it then, before Dr. Krokowski rips your head off. You're right, I'll get going. Alright, the third. Ingrid. But I cannot reach to Ingrid. Sometimes it needs to be with the mouse, other times in the, you can go um, normally. What's the elevator? The break room. So, the, are we on the third floor? I don't even know. Yeah, we are because 43 has to be third floor. Let's be honest. Isn't this Dr. Krokowski? I think I have an hour early. That's refreshing, just what I like to see. I'm early? Really? Of course not. You are horrifically late again. Let me guess, the bus didn't come? Yes, I'm sorry, I. The bus is unreliable, it cannot be trusted, of course. Find a way to get here on time before we decide we cannot trust you ag again. Got it? Yes, got it. Sorry, Dr. Dr. Kurkowski. If it's not too much trouble, we'll start our rounds in round 301. <gasps> no, I'm sorry. I know, I'm trash. <sighs> sorry, Dr. Kurkowski. So is Miss Martin. Good morning, we're very late today. Ah, Miss Martin, a woman after my own art. Miss Martin is in a hurry to get home, that's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin came to us yesterday with a pain in upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain, I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Me? Uh, well, come on, spit it out. And, uh, yes? Uh, ulcer? A stomach ulcer? Is that a question or your answer? My answer? Bingo. The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cows. So far, there is no indication of gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin, we'll probably keep you here one more night. We'll check your readings again later. Just try to relax. Finally, you'll take out Miss Martin medication later. Let's go to in room 303. Chop chop, look sharp. <gasps> yes. Let's go, 303. Didn't that guy change it? Three hundred and three. Come on, Doctor Kokowski, what the fuck? Well, Larissa, how are you with today? Quite okay, Doktorski. It's good to hear that. Can we take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Like last night? That's right, careful. It's like, oh my god. Sorry, Dr. Krokowski. No problem, that was very, very good. How is it going? Yes, I can do that, Dr. K. Well, I was down at school with the others. We were at the back of the skate park. I can't skate that well. I only just got a skateboard for my birthday. But I definitely want to learn. My board is super cool. It has green wheels and the grip tape is all black and brand new. I've heard other skaters scratch their board up on purpose to make it look cooler. I don't get that. My board has a big picture of a robot on the bottom. It's way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. Uh, I think that's supposed to be very good, right? But it's like yeti good. But what were all you going down, doing down at school? Ah, well, uh, 
It was like this. My buddy Chris who stole some cigarettes from his stepdad, he said if you want to be a good skater you have to go to smoke too. It's all part of the deal, he said. I really didn't want to, but I didn't want to be a chick, a chicken, you know. I think there's some misspelling things in here, because uh, over there it's supposed to be chicken and it was chicken, to, uh, without an eye. I, I was still out of breath from practicing. He lit cigarette and I took a drag. Uh, super gross, I don't get why grown ups seem to actually like those things. Anyways, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. I coughed and coughed but couldn't get any air. Then I passed out. Luckily my friends called an ambulance quickly. So yeah, that's it really. Thank you Larissa, you explained it all very well. Well then, can you share your opinions my valued colleagues? What do you think, Vin Finley? Hmm. I know, Dr. Kras already told me. Don't give it away Larissa. Oh, okay, sorry, Dr. Tar see? Hehe. <laughs> Asthma. It could have been an asthma attack. Yes, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my assistant Larissa, you probably won't have thought of it. Hehe. <laughs> cool Larissa, keep doing your breathing exercise, but don't overexert yourself. You got it, Dr. Krakowski. Okay, the last stop for today is room P33. Oh, and Finley, you already know this page is Mr. Willie Arndt. I assume the name rings a bell. Mr. Arndt, yes. He's a permanent guest on our award. Mr. Arndt is an old timer. Even counting his recent injuries, his head isn't the best of shape anymore. So act accordingly. <sighs> Are you saying I'm dumb? Fuck you, doctor. So P, it has to be this way. Because these ones are 300 and the P's are on the left. It was P uh, 33. Then it wait. What are you looking at me, huh? Tell me, Dr. Krakowski, where it is? It's in here. It's this one, right, Dr. Krakowski? I knew it. Okay. Mr. Arndt. Who the fuck is that? Everything will be just fine, Mr. Arndt. This matter is very important to me, and I'll ensure it's solved quickly, you can rest assured of that. Ah, Dr. Krakowski, nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Eidrich. To what do we owe to honor? Why, Mr. Arndt, of course. I heard he was on demand. I have to say, I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been a, of great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective. But I was very worried about our page, of course. And let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you are back on your feet. Ready to throw yourself back into the fray? Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you, Mr. Eidrich. It's great to have you back. Truly, I admire your dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. Nobody at Santa Orso does. Santa Orso itself is responsible for this accident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I have arranged for Mr. Arndt to receive the very best treatment available. That's why I. That's why we have secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after there around the clock. The rest will also be will also help with his age-related dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. Krakowski. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Will you do me a favor and assess Mr. Arndt's condition later today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. All of your our time is precious. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. A health inf infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck, here's to a successful day. Yes, anyway. Good morning, Mr. Arndt. You know my daughter looks exactly like you, yes, yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Arndt. Well, what are you doing here, then? I would like to find out how you are doing and take a look at your dressings. When l lunch today? Straight after this. Okay, then. Go ahead. Finley. Hmm? Yes? 
missed iron so much from the match, but still relative fit, as you can see. He injured his legs as a result of the fragmentation incident. He also suffered a moderate concussion. Finally, will you be so kind as to change Mr. Arndt's dressing? It's important to keep the dressings fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressings right now? You can ask Mr. Arndt if he wants to do it himself if you prefer. It can't be any worse at it than you. Alright, I'm doing it. Good morning, Mr. Arndt. I'm very pleased to see you. Huh? Do I know you? Yes, maybe. There was an accident, do you remember? I want lasagna today, but all the salad. I can't stand all those leaves. Mr. Arndt. Phil, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard on Mr. Arndt. Now let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to... Okay. Uh, treatment. Your page is in your hands. Press and hold the button show on screen to administer treatment. Make sure you only press the button show on screen. Be as quickly as possible and don't release any of the buttons as long as they are displayed. Oops. There we go. Look at that. The dressing may be rather rough, average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later to check your readings, but there's a chance we'll be able to charge you very soon. That would be nice, Mr. Gorkowski. Doctor. No, no, I'm not a doctor. Just an upset mind old fool. Oh, dear. Okay, we are done. Me, feeling? Come with me and I'll give you your task for today's shift. Let's go, Mia! Let's get our tasks. Doctor, you need to run to be faster. I always run. Look at this. I need to stop for you. Mia. What happened to you, Mia? There you are. Back to full health, I trust. Yeah, it's all good. I'm glad to be back at work again. In that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's task in your app. The walls are crumbed, but they still find money for digitalization. I still don't believe in those in these electronic patient records, but Adric and Theobald won't stop singing their praise. We have done the test run on some updates, so all the wards have tools this app now. The data protection benefits are indisputable, but I haven't seen any evidence of it saving us time yet. Anyway, just open the patient's app on your smartphone. Everything else should be self-explanatory. Downloading today's schedule. You got the fire. Oh no, what? Alright. Alright. The file tells you who to treat and what they need. Child's play, really. Any questions? I don't think so. Then you have everything you need. Report back to me when you have completed today's tasks. And make sure you don't collect any more bandage on your face by the end of your shift. I'll keep an eye on your work and evaluate it. Do try to make an effort. Whoa, doctor, I'm, are you saying that I don't I don't do an effort? Whoa. Oh no, it's bugged. Yeah, the notes are bugged, it doesn't appear. Alright, 301. The notes are bugged. Hello, there you are again. Nice to see you again, Miss Martin. I'd rather we make it somewhere else next time, yes, I'll prefer that too. How are you? Oh, you know. I've been a little restless lately. Sometimes it feels like I can't breathe properly. I have bad stomach pains. Do you have heartburn? I've always had heartburn. Had it for years. Yes, stomach ulcers, no joke. I've been through a lot of stress in the past few months. I have a lot of arguments with my daughter, and my job's got me pulling my hair out. I'm very sorry to hear that, Miss Martin. Do you think the also is stress related? Mm. No, I don't think so. In fact, you are very unlikely to develop an, an ulcer just from stress. It's true that stress isn't good for the stomach, though, and it can give you heartburn. Can you do anything about it? It's lucky you came uh, to us to see us uh, so early. That's good. Last, last night test showed you have a bacterial pathogen in your stomach. That's probably what's causing the ulcer. I'm going to start by prescribing you some medication. Whatever you think you will help. Alright, let's see then. 
prescribe the right medication, try to get all the patient readings to their optimum levels using as little medication as possible. Each type of medication affects two different readings. Once you're satisfied with the medication you've chosen, sign the prescription. Holy shit! So I need always to reach to where it is the black bars, is it? Isn't this correct, like this? Hey, there we go. See? See? What? There was a better one? I did let Or do I need a tools free? I don't know. Well, that should have you feeling better in no time. Someone will come and give you be uh, your medication before lunch. Until then, try to get some sleep. Yes, I should rest my eyes. I was all up all night with the pain. Get well soon, see you later. Thank you and good night. That was a C. Hmm. I need to understand a little bit better how it works, the, the medicine. I don't know if it's like with... The, I think... I don't know if you need to be like free or it, or it could be less. But isn't the, the point of getting, you know, until the bar? Or do I need to pass the bar? That's a thing that I didn't understood. Hey doc, what's your name? Hey, Larissa, I'm Finley. I'll be examining you over the next few days, okay? Nothing to worry about. Okay, whatever you say, doctor. I would like to listen to your lungs. You mean you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so, but don't worry, it's not that cold. I don't know. Actually, I guess it is a bit cold most of the time, but it will only be for a moment. You think you can manage that? Mm, yes, okay. Shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Jumping heart, rattling hunks. Press the button show on screen at the right moment. Arrow keys. Alt. Okay, so arrow keys. Alt WSD when a button appears on the top of the bottom line. Okay. Oh. Okay, I understand now. I understand why it is the uh, the double ST. I think I got that nay. Yay! That really was only call for a second here. What did you hear, Doc? Nothing to pedal, Larissa. But there was a faint rattle. A rattle like the musical instrument? Yes, kind of. I used to play one of those in my school orchestra, but I didn't swallow it, I promise. Actually, I think it's your body that's rattling. Is that bad? There's nothing to worry about. I know the attack was probably scary, but you are feeling a lot better now, aren't you? Yeah, see he. We'll keep you here for a little while. Once we are absolutely sure what's up with you, then you can go. Agreed? Yes, of course. Do I have to do anything about it? Try to make yourself as comfortable as possible here. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Sure thing. Okay, so we have a C and an A. Probably that's like uh, a B for now. Okay, scissors. Is that what it is? Scissors? Am I going to open somebody? <laughs> Good morning, Miss Helmik. You just had terror surgery, right? How are you today? I'm very thirsty. Talking and swallowing are difficult. That's very understandable. Please take it easy then. Doing it can be a little tricky when you are just at sur surgery. But once that the wound has healed a bit and the swelling has gone down, it'll be fine. You'll be on your feet again in no time. That will be nice. I'll wait to 
have to spend the last good days of the year stuck in here. We'll make sure it doesn't come to that. I'll change your dressings. Oh, come on, that was fast. Press E to continue. Oh, this is the one to hold. I think I got the name. Nice. Looking good so far. Everything seems to be alright. Try to talk as little as possible and drink a lot. Okay. Come on, give me an A with this. I push a little bit further with this A. I don't have more tasks. All done, Dr. Krakowski. Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. Alright, let's see. You didn't kill nobody. Thank God. Oh, that's a B. Boo. Everything seems in order here. Perhaps the knock to your head did some good after all. Keep it up, finally. Okay. I have another task for you. I'm going to give you the opportunity to save me some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, what can I do? I need you to go to the bed to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom. The door's on the right. But you can also take the weight if you like. I sent some blood samples to Dr. Lil and I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finley? As long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well then, let's all keep our fingers crossed then. Off you go, I need those results today. Lab, basement, Dr. Lil got it. So I think I'm gonna use the, the fucking thing. Why not use the, the elevator if it, it's faster, right? Why use the stairs? Dr. Alil, where are you, Dr. Alil? The hospital are cash, no one knows what treasures they are. Treasures made out of old moly paper, if the smell is anything to go by. Death and 40 years of stale cigarette smoke. Oh, it's not over here. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh, I wonder if you can climb over there. Lock it. Hello? See that red light above the door? That what? Uh, yes, I see it. Good, good, excellent. Well then. So I'm here to... You see the red light, don't you? Yes, I see the red light. A red light usually means something like very busy. Prohibited, negative, no access, or simply no. But I need the blood results urgently for Dr. Krakowski. Dr. Krakowski, is it? I see. That does alter the parameters somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. Ta-da! Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go now? Uh, what do you think? You see a green light, don't you? Enter. Asshole! A mole. Alright, here I am. Oh, what are you doing here? I was outside the door, I was just talking to you. Fascinating. And? And what? The light, was it green? Yes, it was green. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Krakowski asked you for. Ah, indeed, indeed. So why are we wasting our time chatting? Follow me, I think I have your results around here somewhere. Checked secrets. Now, where were we? Yeah, yes, the documents you request will be here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course, saves time. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know. The day becomes so much more efficient if you want to reduce the distance between A and B. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and fi filing work too. And now you too can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Well, if that's all... Oh no! the fuck? Oh no, horror. What a mishap. The bang made my heart jump. My whole system. I... Let me just put things right down. It it will be alright again in no time. 
Oh, ho is me. Can I help you? What do you mean? You want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, that happens, let's see. Just a minute. Why do the samples have different color lids? That, my dear doctor, that's my sorting system. He, it looks like, it looks complicated. Al contrary, it's as easy as pie. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each stick has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident. Others have gotten turned around, so they are not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples around until all the same colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned correctly, they'll make a single color square. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples that fell out sort in. It's quite simple. You are very smart, or else do it. What a disaster, the samples got mixed up, but you can fix this. Use Q and E to rotate the flasks. All fl a flask is in the correct position when the colors of all four segments match with segments of the adjacent portals to form a square. Use E and space to move flasks that fell out. Oh my god. What the fuck am I seeing here? What the hell? Yeah, this is not correct. Oh my god, and you can rotate. How the fuck am I going to? How the hell are you gonna guess this? What? How the hell are you gonna know this? It's never correct, how the hell do you know this? And you cannot see the explanation again? You cannot see the explanation again? What the hell? Because I don't, I really don't understand what the hell you need to do. Yeah, you cannot see uh, the explanation, you cannot get out to see again how the hell this works. Because you don't expect to be like this.
What? What the fuck do you do? Well, this one doesn't work, can't you? going somewhere with this it was a little bit confused to understand I'm gonna be honest at least you see, fantastic, isn't it? My system is infallible. Thank you for your effort. I better get back to my work. Uh, Dr. Lil? Was there something else with the doctor? The results for Dr. Kakowski? All oh, right, right, Dr. Kakowski. What didn't you say? You know, I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. Here you are. With my follow system, I always have everything to hand. Enjoy. And please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear one self thing, don't you know? Asshole, you made to do some puzzle? How dare you, Dr. Lil? Prick. How oh, you made me to do a hard puzzle. Right. Deliver the blood samples. Here are your uh, blood results, Dr. Krakowski. And why did it take so long? Did the bus to the lab not turn up? No, I had to help Dr. Lil sort these samples. You had to help him? Yes, I. Do you see Dr. Lil here tending to patients on the first floor? No, you don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula is a, a, fine, a finely tuned machine. If anyone cogs, uh, fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. Maybe you'll feel a bit more up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time for the start of the shift. I expect to see the same level of performance in your tweet as you show today. Got it. Have a nice evening, Dr. Kukowski. Really? She expect me to take uh, to do a B? Don't you expect uh, A, you know, the best performance that you can do? Another day done. Any trouble getting back into the groove? You were only off sick for a few days, but it's funny how quickly you forget things sometimes. I don't know, things didn't go too well today. Trouble with Dr. Koski? I don't think she likes me. Liking ain't got nothing to do with it, sweetie. Dr. Cross doesn't tolerate mistakes. She's in a tough cookie. So make an effort, kiddo. Who knows, you might even learn something. I'll do my best. Have a nice evening, Ingrid. You too. See you tomorrow. Zoop. Okay. 
<gasps> it's night. Do we have uh, a bus to go home? It shouldn't be working, right? I'm not even trying, the bus won't come. Will I ever see it again? We need to go on foot. Hopefully there's no criminals in here. Oh, who the hell is that guy? Can I talk to him? This evening isn't it lovely? The warm air that still has a little bit of summer left in it. The golden fall of the sun is slowly going to sleep. Ah, how wonderful. I feel the need to say something profound. Think I'll resist the urge though. That weird drug still here. Oh, Jesus. What the? Take it easy now. I don't want any trouble. I should probably leave. That noise. Holy shit. Okay, where is my home? I'm lost! Oh, who the hell is this guy? What do you want, peeps? Quick, can't you let me smoke here in peace? One of that little busy bit pals, you mean Carl? Yeah, that's the one, he needs to keep away from me. Tell him that from me. I can hear a voice coming from Gilbert's. Gillian's probably in full flow already, handing out drinks left and right and center. But I'm too exhausted. Maybe tomorrow, right now I need sleep. Finally clocking off the day, huh? Yeah, it's at long last. You're still here too, I see. Still, please. I'm back here after quite an eventful day. So what now? Off to paint the town red? No, not today. I'm too exhausted. Exhausted? At your age? You should enjoy yourself all you can. Believe me, I use it to be a real life wire, young, tear away he. I can still cut a rug on the dance floor, just as long as the music's right. Then I'll have to join shaking, believe you in me. I used it to be the last one standing every Friday night. I don't doubt it, but I'll have to pass today. Morning shift, you understand? Alright, alright. But let me tell you, if you, if you, if I'll sleep as much as at your age, I'll even be older than I'm now. Okay, why the hell she was criticizing because we are too exhausted. It's like, come on, lady. Can't finally be too exhausted from an eventful day. Huh? Huh? Is that the home over here? No, still have to go a little bit further. Ah oh, yes, I remember the bike, it should be in here. I can't wait to just flop into bed. Good night world. Go. Good morning. I'm alert. I'm up for it. I can't do anything. I'm on top of the world. That's what I will say right now if I were the kind of guy who cheers himself on in the mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. And luckily, I don't have a mirror. That will be uncomfortable for everyone involved, but at least I got out of bed on time today. That's a huge success by itself, if you ask me. And I got rid of that awful band-aid too. Almost 7 years of studying medicine and I can finally take a band-aid off without it hurting. Maybe I do have what it takes. Make the bed. Not today, bed. You won't tempt me today. No matter how soft, warm and cozy you look. At least make your bed, Finley. Someday. Yeah, someday I'll get round to gaming again. 
Wait for me, our time will come. Oh no, you cannot interact with that. Oh, what the hell is this? Hey, morning there. Spare a few cents, my friend. Sure thing. Here we go. Thank you. New kid in town, huh? Haven't seen you here before. Yes, I moved over here a few weeks ago. Oh, not that new then. Guess we just work to different schedules. But put this way. If you are the kind of guy who, lives, who likes a shrewd investment, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. You have a productive day now. Ah, the notes are all fucked. I wonder if it is because when I was taking care of that patient, it appeared the notes and I didn't went there. I wonder. Ooh, is that guy for the bus or what? Yo! You live across the street from here, right? Yes, that's right. Can I help you? Are you the guy who always stuff his garbage can full of yogurt cups? No, sorry, I never even eat yogurt. Be glad I'm on the warp path. Every round I make, I come across this one garbage can, stuff it to the brim with yogurt cups. And as if that wasn't absurd enough, most of them are still half full. <coughs> So I'm trying to somehow get this mountain of yogurt cups in the truck and all the half full cups come tumbling down my head. Now I need to get the bus home and take a shower. I'll never get rid of that cherry peach and vanilla smell otherwise. Yeah, I, I took it for, to work earlier. It, I'm not the world greatest exactly, so I'm actually pretty rel reliant on the bus. Do you know when the bus is coming? Any mom moment now, I think. Where do you need to go get to? St. Ursula Hospital. Oh, you are one of those folks. You are, your garbage cans are in a class of their own. I was at St. Ursula earlier this year. Sleep a disc. Do you know a Dr. Gautera? Mm, Gautera. I think I've heard the name before, but I haven't met him yet. I haven't been there for long. Right, anyway, Dr. Gautera is a good guy. He showed me some exercise. It's been better since then. Cool. If you see him, tell him Mateo says hi. Will do. Are you taking the bus too? Alright, look, here it comes. <gasps> the bus is working! I don't need to cycle. It would be cool if you could uh, pick up a bicycle and ride to the hospital, you know. It would be nice, be different. Now it turns off this, uh, this thing, what the hell? Day and night, wasting water like that. Eh? Who pays the bills? Some millionaire, is it? Here he is again, two days in a row without the injury. You're getting good at this key. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself. You should be. But don't overdo it. You don't want to end up being employee of the month. I'll be careful. How are things doing okay? Depends, you asking me on my back. I thought so, glad you asked. Nobody else does. They said there were times when I didn't have a bad bag. I say that's a myth. If those times exist, I don't remember them. Discs went 12 years ago now. You had a sleeper disc? Three. Oh. Yeah. I thought things would be bad if I cut back on the nursing job, stick to the paper pushing. But let me tell you, kid, this rickety chair doesn't make it any better. I'm sorry, Ingrid. Don't be. Just watch your back, kid. You already look like you'll snap in half at the slightest breeze. Don't let it come to that. Once your back goes, it don't come back easy. So, what's the first rule? Don't mess it up in the first place. Don't mess it up in the first place. Exactly. You can have that one for free. How's the situation? Pretty busy. But you are on today, time today. Say, kid, you know your way around the hospital yet? Yeah, yeah. We are one big happy family here. I like the game nights best. Or when we all cook together. It's just great here. I can't imagine anything better. Anyway. It's never a bad thing to get to know the people around you. Take a look around when you have time. If there's an emergency, you need to know exactly where it's where. You should drop by Dr. Theobald's office. You want to be in his good books. He's in chief physician, after all. I'm sure he'll love you. Okay, good, Tom. I'll go see him. Do you know where his office is? 
Yes, of course. It's office. I know that. No, we don't know. First floor on the right. Thanks. See you later. Don't trip yourself, kid. First floor to the right. I'm going to take the stairs. Do some exercise this time. First floor. To the right. Okay, not this. Okay, tell Walt. We haven't the chance to meet each other yet. Should I pop in and say hello? I'll knock, of course. Maybe he's not in. One moment, please. Oh. Come in. Alright, let's go. Nice office. It's a chicken. Or a rooster. A very good morning to you. What can I do for you? Good morning, Dr. Tailball. My name is Finley. I'm a junior doctor. I joined not long ago. Ah, yes. I'm glad you stopped by. How are you doing so far? Setting in nicely? It's all very exciting, but I'm getting along just fine, thanks. Glad to hear it. It's a shame we are only just meeting now. I'm, I always like to welcome new face. I'm sure that you'll do great work here. So, Finley, why brings you to good old St. Ursula? Was it the Vium's love, perhaps? You don't have to tell me, I just like to chat, you know. No, no, it's okay. I finished my degree in medicine and I wanted to start work straight away. Learn as much as I can and become a good doctor. I studied in the big city, spent all my life there too. I never lived in a place like Porcupine before. And I thought sm a small hospital might allow me to take one more important tasks. That and I thought the place was nice. Oh yes, it's lovely here. And how are you finding life in Porcupine? Well, it's different than I expected, but I haven't had much time to explore yet, to be honest. Hopefully I'll get a chance to. Sure, sure. But I won't lie to you, Finley. The day-to-day -day in the hospital isn't easy. The work can be very fulfilling, but also exhausting. Don't let it get to you down. If you can't do that, I can see you staying with us for a good long time. And if you need anything, please let me know. I do what I can to keep all our staff happy. Which ward do you work on? I, unfortunately, I no longer have time to treat patients myself. I miss working on the wards terribly, but my current position simply doesn't allow it. So why the set to cope then? Oh, this old thing? I just like to keep it with me, I find it comforting. It brings me luck and helps me feel like I'm still part of the team in some small way. Was there anything else on your mind? Any question perhaps? Do you have any tips working with Dr. Krakowski? Uh, about... Uh, no. Korkowski. Dr. Toy is one of the best doctors I know. Don't let her get you down. I know you got what it takes, and Dr. Kraus knows it too. She just don't, doesn't show it that often. Yeah, maybe that's it. Is there anything else? Mr. Hans. Yes, I heard about that, of course. Don't worry. It wasn't your fault. You're not the first to have a runaway patient here. It happens to the best of us. Even Dr. Lin Hood had to go looking for someone else, and that patient only had one leg. Anyway, it all turned out alright in the end. Dust yourself off and keep it at, at it, okay? Okay, thank you. I'm good, but thanks for your time. Good, good, off you go then. I'm sure we are, we both have a busy day ahead of us. Thank you for stopping by. We should do this again sometime. Have a nice day, Dr. Theobald. No, the notes won't work. The shelf is full of folders and old medicine books. Whoa, I won't mind looking at those. I bet half of the cons are out of date by now. And a gold mini golf trophy. Ahem. <clears throat> I received that award last summer. It just so happens that you are standing in the office of the local mini golf district champion. And the books aren't that old either. You got offended. Okay. <sighs> Let's go to the elevator. Probably it's going to be to our ward that is the third, right? Good 
Morning, Finley. Hope you have a good shift today. Thank you. You too. My stomach's already growling. I was checking out the hospital a bit this morning. I forgot to have a breakfast. You're funny. I'll see you later, Mia. Okay. Good morning. Nice of you to turn up before sunset. Have you got your file for today yet? No, I'm afraid not. Well, let's deal with that right away. Some of the batch have already been reassigned. Your tasks for today have been activating your app. Schedule updated on P. I need to go for the P. Okay. You got our hands full, so let's not waste any time. Among the other things, we are looking after an old friend of mine today. She's in room P31. Please make sure she's looked after. But don't lose sight of your other responsibilities, okay? As I always want to see impeccable results, go get to it. Okay. P31. Giuliano, what are you doing here? Finley, my friend. I brought my mother here this morning. May, we, may I introduce her? This is my mother, Irma. Good morning. Hello there. She collapsed on the sidewalk, must have fainted or something. It's the first time these kind of things happen to her, so I figured it will better get a specialist to check her out. Alright, I'll take a look. You hear that, ma? Finley hasn't lived in Pokemon long, but I know him. He's a good kid and a great doctor. Well, aren't I the lucky one? Is there anything else I can do, Finley? Can you tell me anything else about what happened this morning? Oh yeah, let's see. Me and Maya wanted to meet up for breakfast. She wanted to enjoy the sunny morning and go for a walk. She said it might be the last sunny day of the year. It's not far, but she seemed very tired when I saw her. We didn't even have time to say hello properly before her legs gave away. She couldn't stop coughing, so we came straight here. Shame, I was looking forward to that breakfast. I was really craving French toast with apple sauce and a nice strong black coffee. Thanks, Julian. I think that will do for now. I'll take a look at Irma. Okay. Ma, I'm going to head off now. I'll be at Gilbert's. Let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be fine, son. You should be worried about that old pub of yours. I'll call you later. I'll like that. Good morning, Miss Dikalma. How are you feeling today? Please, call me Irma. I'm not one to stand on ceremony. Alright, Irma. I'm feeling. That's a nice name. So, how are you feeling? My lungs hurt more than I ever felt before. That happens sometimes. Can you tell me again what happened this morning? I was on my way to see my son, Giuliano. It was such a lovely morning. It felt like the last day of summer. Even though I can already smell the fall. Can you smell it too? Yes, me too. The trees are turning beautiful colors. After a few meters, my bre breathing got very heavy. Such a waste of the beautiful fall air. I couldn't really enjoy it. My breathing got faster and faster. I was just reaching the marketplace when I started feeling very dizzy. I felt sick. My legs gave away and I fell down onto the sidewalk. It made an awful racket. The windows shook in all the house. I see. That reminds me of a great story. But maybe that can wait for another day. I'm rather exhausted. Alright, Irma. I'll let you get some rest, but I'd like to make a few more notes on the diagnosis. Of course. The sooner we find a solution, the sooner I can get hold of my French toast. Just sit tight, we'll laugh. Find the correct combination of the symbols. A blue mark indicates that you got the right symbol, but in the wrong position, okay? A green, mar a green mark indicates that you got the right symbol in the correct position. In addition to these, symbols will be highlight green when they are in the correct position. Each symbol will only appear once per combination. You have 8 attempts. Leg. Okay, we have the first one is the leg. Yeah, all the rest. Uh, no, there's one that's blue, but I don't see it. Okay, there's another blue. So it's not this one. And this one isn't too high. 
Skull. Got the A. Nice. Mm, I see. What do you see? The symptoms are relatively clear. If I think it's early stage of pneumonia. Uh, things that don't seem so bad for now, but we'll keep you here as a precaution. Yes, yes, better safe than sorry, right? That's right. You are a nice young man. I'm glad you are my doctor. Thank you. I'll do my best. I'll see you later, okay? Just call out if you need anything. Hello, do, thank you. Alright, got an A. Good, good shit, good shit. Finley. You got a minute? Sure, what can I do for you? I know she's in good hands with you. That's all I can ask for. Well, we'll get Dima back on her feet. I know, I know. I'll let out then. I got to finally reopen Gilbert's today. Don't take this personally. But I hate hospitals. The smell makes me anxious. Then I guess you'll better get catch up at Gilbert's next time. Sure, come by any time. I will. Okay, so... 301, that's it. Again, give the pills. That I still need to understand better how all this works, the pills. Miss Marty, how are you feeling? I was up all night worrying again. I was thinking about my daughter or argument. It's the same when I can't sleep. I'll spend all night turning my problems over in my mind. Is your stomach any better at least? My stomach? No, you mention it. It is feeling better, yes. That's good to hear. Your terrible sleeping could be a side effect of your medication. I'll make some adjustments. Isn't this good already? Or do you need to go for uh, for four times for pills? Do you need to go for four? That's the problem. I don't know if you need to go for four or uh, or not. Let me see. I probably need to get four. Okay. So you're about to get some new drugs to help you sleep. We'll get stomach and ulcer under control, but to keep it that way, you need to avoid stress. That's easier said than done. I know. No, I'm glad you said that. Maybe that's what I needed to hear. I've got, I know it for a long time, but now I really do need to look after myself more. But how? This pill you are about to take will send you to sleep for a little while. I'm sure you'll come up with new ideas and a fresh perspective when you wake up. Thanks, doctor. So you need to get to four, and you cannot go under or... I think you can pass through the bar, right? Or you need to be in there, I don't know. That, that The pill one is a little harder to understand how it works. How are you today? Pretty chill, doc. Uh, just bored to death. I could barely sleep last night. Yeah, I get that. The nights can be long when you are in hospital. Ain't that truth? Also the cough. Much better. That's what I want to hear. I'll just give you a quick check over then, okay? Sure, you need to, me to do anything? Just what we are doing right now, that's plenty. Alright, let's look at your lungs. Don't you mean listen? What? You're just gonna listen to my lungs, right? Or are you gonna cut me open? I don't want people looking at my lungs. Alright, hey, sorry, just a, a turn of phrase. I will be listening to your lungs, don't worry. Phew. Don't miss anything. Perfect. Can you get the S? No, you can only get A. Hmm. What is it, Doc? Your lungs haven't quite recovered fully yet. Is that bad? No, nothing to worry about. I think if you stay in bed all day and take it easy, we can send you up tomorrow. Okay. 
Is everything okay? Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have gone home today. I get that, but believe me, it's better if you keep your inches for one more day. Yeah, maybe you're right. Doc, can I tell you something? Sure, what is it? My cough was pretty bad last night. It kept me up all night and it, turned, it hurt a lot too. It's good that you told me that, Larissa. You know you can tell me anything, right? Believe me, I want to get you out of here as soon as possible too. Okay, Doc. Thanks. Any tips for how to kill time around here? We have a TV in the break room. If you feel like it, you can sit down there and make yourself comfortable. We got tea and coffee too. Uh, coffee. That stuff's so bitter. But I'll take a look uh, later, thanks. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Just one more day, we can do it. Yeah, hehe. <laughs> okay. What are you looking at, huh? Huh? Mm. I'm not your doctor, asshole. I'm not uh, done, Dr. Kokoski. I can see that. Alright then, let's see what you got for me. Again, B. Everything looks fine so far. Stay focused and don't get stuck while you work, okay? Okay. Do you need anything else? No, thank you, but... The new patient. What about her? She's very friendly. Is that so? Old Mr. Misty Calm is very popular in Porcupine. I know her for a long time too. Take good care of her family. You'll be in charge of her treatment. But don't neglect the others just because you think Mrs. Calm is nice. Personal, personal consideration will never get in the way of your work. Even if you absolutely hate the person. I always treat them to the best of your ability and understanding. Take a break now. In the meantime, I'll check on Misty Calm as well. Okay, thank you for placing your trust in me. Hey Mia. Uh, are you okay? Are you done for the day? I'm double down. Tired? Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting used to the shift work. Tell me about it. Have you eaten today? I'm so hungry. No, not to mention, have you ever been to cafeteria? Not to eat, but maybe today is a good day to change that. I'll say it. Let's do it. I haven't I didn't realize how hungry I was until you mentioned it. Now I can't think of anything else. That's what we call a remote diagnosis. Shall we go? Correct answer. Hurry up. My stomach's practically roaring with hunger. Is that even medically possible? They must hate you at the library. Finley. Alright, alright. To the cafeteria. Do you know where is the cafeteria? Does someone know where is the cafeteria? No. I'm lost on my hospital. <laughs> Finley. You don't know the hospital. How is that possible? Please! Ah, oh, there we go. What the hell we have over here? What should I get? Hey Lisa! Me, hey, are you on a break? Who's this with you, you brought? Have we met? I don't think so. I'm Finley. Nice to meet you. I guess you are on internal medicine too. I don't think I could do what you do. But if you want me to cut something out for you, just say the word. I can't say what to eat. Don't see anything you like look for of? Oh, quite the opposite. All the dishes sound delicious. Really? Yes. Sir, Sergej is an amazing cook. With nice skills like that, you'll fit right into the surgery. I'd like to see that. Go on ahead. I need a month to decide. Alright, thanks. What can I get you, kid? Uh, what you got? Art, the finest, the finest, finest culinary art in town. Just choose your artwork. I'm prepared to be taken on a wild journey. Now I don't want to presume your personal taste, but I can recommend the pineapple wrap. Sweet yellow fruit combined with crunchy lamb lettuce and pickle artichoke hearts. A gourmet delight. So go on. What will be? What you'll like, Mia? I don't care. You pick something. I'll eat just about something right now. Okay, I'll like... I'm gonna do what he said. Ha, ah, the pineapple wrap. I see you are a doctor of good taste. Bon appetit to you both. Enjoy. Why not? How is it? The wrap? Uh, interesting, I guess. What do you think of it? I'll be honest, I can't stand pineapples. But I, don't, I didn't want to complain. And I was so hungry, I didn't care. 
But I actually meant to work, how is it going for you? We both started here just a few weeks ago, and I just realized that we haven't even talked about our experience yet. Sometimes that helps, to reflect on yourself, I mean. That's what my parents always say. True, somehow we haven't ch uh, ch had a chance yet. Well, I think I like the Santa, Santa Ursula. I don't know that many hospitals yet, but I think we made a good choice. Yeah, probably. And the staff are really nice. That's true. But Dr. Krakos can be pretty nasty. Yeah, she's really been eating me alive too, but I'll win her over. Sure, sure. I just wish I was more punctual. Every day I come rushing in at the last minute and you're already here and ready to go. I need to work on that. Yeah. Is everything okay? You don't you don't have to eat the wrap if you don't like it. Well, I... Bon appetit, my dear colleagues. You too. How do you like Sergei's cuisine? Pretty good so far. Yes, pretty good. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. When staff are happy, I'm happy too. I'm sorry I missed the opportunity to introduce myself the other day. It didn't seem like the right time, so I was hoping I could make it up to you now. My name is Roman Heydrich. I'm the executive director of St. Orso Hospital. I try to keep things running as smoothly as I can, and to fulfill the wish of our dear chief physician, Dr. Theobald, and of the staff, of course. My top priority is the welfare of our patients. That's how it was. It always been, and how it will always will be. The two of you are new here, so I wanted to impart information to you personally, especially since some of you have had a difficult start here. I don't blame you for the incident with Mr. Arndt. You are new and mistakes happen, and I see no ill intent in your actions. You only wanted what was the best for the patient. So much so that you put your own health at risk. Nevertheless, we had to make certain accommodations for him. He's now at the best care center in the country, where you will hopefully recover quickly. I'm glad to hear it. I hope it gets better soon. Anyway, enough of such matters. Let us look to the future and continue to make St. Ursula Hospital a place of healing. I'm glad to have you both on board. That's what I really like to to tell you. Okay. All right. Time for me to go. Don't you want to eat anything? No, thank you. I sat in my appetite some time ago. Besides, work never sleeps. Enjoy your meals and your work. That was interesting. You can say that again. Ah, <laughs> are you done? I, um, I definitely am now. Let's get back up to the ward then. Mr. Heydrich was right. Work never sleeps in this hospital. Okay, let's go. Okay, back to work. Is this the way? Yeah, it is. Back at taking care of the patients. Man, are you serious? You piece of trash. Hello? Who's that? Where is it coming from? The elevator, maybe? You should check. I think the voice is coming from here. Hello? Is there someone in there? No, the hospital search is all one of those new talking elevators. Wah! The damn door's stuck. Why does this keep happening to me? We need to help him. Yeah, what can we do? We should get the janitor. He can open the door, right? Gregor, the old fart is the reason I'm stuck here in the first place. If he touched the elevator, it'd probably blow up. I'm going to wring his neck. Do you want to get out of there or not? Yeah, I guess. I just come from the surgery on the second floor. That's where I saw the old bungler stalking around. Alright. Finally, you go to the surgery and find Gregor. I'll go back to our ward and stay on call in case anyone needs anything. Good plan, thanks. So, second floor. Okay, I get it. Greg is our only hope, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. But I guess I can't get the door open with with gauze bandage and IV fluid, and I'm starving. Please don't eat any medical supplies. Are you crazy? That stuff tastes awful. You mean you have tried it? Look, night shifts can get pretty long, okay? Just hang in there, I'm going to look for Gregor. Like I said, I just saw him in surgery. Alright, I'll fetch him and he'll be right back, okay? Hurry up, the walls are closing in on me. No, they aren't. Okay, on second floor. Okay, second floor. Is 
is it Greg? Gregor, there you are. What's up with that blast of light? I need your help. Yeah, yeah, everyone needs old Gregor's help. Won't even give me the time of day when everything's running smoothly. But one flickering light or squeaky door and it's Gregor. This help that. Mr. Glendower, the elevator is stuck. Take it easy, kid. Can't you see I'm busy here? But there's someone stuck in the elevator. Give me a hand here, kid. There's a breaker panel at the end of the hall. Head over there and switch the breaker on when I give you the signal, okay? But one thing at a time. After that, will you help me with the elevator? I'm the giant, aren't I? Okay. Oh, Lisa is here. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is probably the only breaker panel here. Here goes nothing. Okay, ready? Yes. Alright, wait a minute. Put this in here, feel around here. That should do it. Okay, now. Ah! Oh no, everything okay? I'll just take a quick look. Oh god, we killed the janitor. These people don't care. Lisa, help over here quickly. Mr. Glendower, are you alright? <laughs> yeah, Olive. Take more than a little electric shock to stop me. Well, that's a relief. Maybe you should lie down for a moment, I'll say. Baloney, you wanna make me an helmet? You gotta break a few eggs. Besides, look, the lights are working again. I still got it. Will you help me now? Help. Oh, give me a moment. I'll just need, need a quick break, then we'll take a look. Finally. I was about to sign a lease on this thing. Oh, you again? I should have known. Carl, it's you. I've been wondering where you have been all day. I knew that voice sounded familiar. Huh? What? I thought you knew it was me. Don't you recognize the angelic voice of your favorite colleague? I'll try to burn it uh, into my brain for, for future use. <gasps> anyway, I'm glad you are out of the elevator now. Oh yeah, right. Freedom! Ah, that sweet, sweet sound. I thought I was going to die in there. Thank you, Finley. You really are good, buddy. I owe you one. Gregory. Oh, fuck. Sometimes it's so fast. And now it's my fault you're out again. You're welcome. I'm leaving now. Gregor doesn't give a shit. One of these days. Are you alright? What? Oh, yeah. Alright, yeah. All good. I'm just short on time. I already has lo I lo loads to do today. Could have done without the involuntary lunch break. It stays only for me from now on. She'll help me keep fit at least. You could clone me or take a second job as a nurse or buy a new elevator. All good options, right? Alright, enough shit chat. I gotta go. I need to get a snack somewhere before my next stop. And you need to get back to the ward. You know Krakowski by now. The steam's probably coming out of her ears already. Thanks again for the help, buddy. If you're up for it late, I'll buy you a drink at Gilbert's. Think about it. Laters. But... What about the box? I guess he'll sort it out. I really should get back to the war now. You can auto the elevator. Ah, oh, boo. I need to go for the stairs. Okay, to the fourth floor. Because that's our award to the to do our job. Do I need to talk to Mia? Here I am. Did everything go okay? Yeah, how about you? It took you quite a while. Well who was it in the elevator? Carl. Ah, <laughs> typical. Have you seen Dr. Krakowski? Yeah, she's in the break room. She tends to treat there when evening starts closing in. I don't think she's really taking a break at all, which kind of defeats the purpose of the room. I'll let her know I'm clocking off, then I can finally relax for the evening. You do that, I'm going to do some sports. You can join me if you want, it'll be fun. That's not a bad idea, I'll think about it. Yeah, you can never see that again. Break room. 
There we go. Finally, I have a question. Do you have some other job here that I don't know about? Or you even? What do you mean? Well, at least you two have a lot on your mind whenever you are here. Otherwise, you will personally be doing your job, like everybody else here does. Your treatments today were okay, but that doesn't mean you can clock off early. Don't take this personally. I don't enjoy pointing these things out. I, I do it because it's my job. Don't assume that the rest of the team can make up for every shortcoming. Just as you rely on others, they must also be able to rely on you. Please think about what I've said. But Carl was, I know. And also know that you were helping him. Nevertheless, I need to make sure we are clear on this. Thank you for your work today. Tomorrow is your first night shift, as I'm sure you know. That will give you another chance to prove yourself. Ooh. Night shift. Okay. Now they broke the fucking elevator and it go uh, on stairs. Tying myself. So any plans for after the work? Yeah, I'm going out again. It's your first night shift tomorrow, right? Yeah. Finally, a chance to sleep in a bit. You better add scary things happen here at night sometimes. Demons, monsters, that kind of thing. The spirits of the deceased get up to all sorts of mischief here, you know? You're kidding, right? No, it's all true. Some people have gone insane on their first night shift. Or even disappeared completely. I mean, look at you. You've only had one late night shift and you didn't even come out of that environment. But that was just a stupid accident. It could have happened any time of the day. Oh, sure, it could have. Or could it? I'll let you answer that one. I'm leaving now. Yes, flee, flee! Woo! Haha! <laughs> Trying to scare feeling, eh? Poor dude. There you are. How is it looking? Are you gonna come down to the sports court with me? I want to get some exercise tonight. Sure, I'll come. Alright, come on then. Race you to the school sports court if you insist. Great. On your marks, get set. Oh no, is that Dr. Kirkos? She looks angry. What? Go! I'm gonna catch you! Well, she went this way. It has to be this way, right? To the school uh, sports center. Thought you had jumped the cards. Why not practice some uh, sports, right? To get fit. Ah, oh, this way. Not this way. How the hell do you even know where it is? It's not this way. This place is cool. This one? I think I saw these on the, on a trailer. Shooting some uh, balls to the basket, right? Well, what's happening here? 
Hmm, what do you think? After a long day, I need to work off a bit of energy. The university clinic where I used to work at its own sports field. Let's go this hidden gem last ne last week. I hereby present to you. Nice. So you want me to join in? That's fine. Today we are playing basketball. You know how to shoot hoops, right? I was always good at school. I got teased a lot for being one of the youngest. But I always got the basket. Alright then. Looks like I chose the right guy to play against. Let's see who wins. Ready? Pass me the ball. It's just what I wanted to hear. Here we go. How the hell do I shoot it? Keep yourself fit. Hold E to charge your throw. Release E to throw. Score a basket with the specific with a special ball to get three points. Whoever has the most points at the end is the winner. Super. It's like, come on. Oh, come on. Bullshit. Special ball. You are cheating. Ah, nobody is scored. Look at that, 16 to 7. Please. Oof, you really showed me. I didn't know you were so good. Uh, I think you just called me on a good day. The last time I played, that's what was at school. When I start the team in Porcupine, you have to join me. Ha, <laughs> okay. So, Finley, how do you like it here? Not just work in general. Porcupine. It's nice here. I mean, I kind of haven't had much time to get to know the town yet. I haven't even unpacked all my box yet. And then I was out of action for a while. It feels a bit like when I first started university. A little lonely. Really? But uh, How do you mean? Well, somehow you get along uh, with everyone here, and it feels like I don't know anyone yet. I feel a little lonely. Every time I move uh, town, it I get, it gets a little harder somehow. I had a few friends at school, even at university, I struggled to meet people. And in Pokemon, I really only know the people from the hospital. You really think I'm fitting in well? Totally. Funny, I feel the same way as you, actually. Really, that's a surprise. I haven't had much free time so far, and when I do, I never have the energy to do anything. It's tough to get to know anyone, but I made up my mind not to get bogged down in work. I want to make sure I always have save some energy for trying out new things, meeting new people, maybe even making some friends. I'm sure you will both find friends here, and whenever you want to try something new, you can always let me know. I will, but that's enough for today, I think. I'm starting, I need to make something to eat. Besides, some of us have to, the early shift tomorrow. It's your first night shift, right? Yeah, I hope it goes alright. I'm sure it will. I believe in you. But I got to run now. See you tomorrow night. Okay, do I go home? Or do I need to go to home? On foot. Alright, we are close. Our home is right over here. Good night, world. My apartment's a mess. Actually, it's not that bad as it is. I mean, it's only going to get messy again anyway. And then I'll just have to tidy it up again. Maybe I should just maintain a consistent level of chaos at all times. Meh. I should put my laundry away at least. Otherwise, it will end up lying around all week. I hope my lazy future self updates this. Feel free to help me out a little. After all, you live here too. That reminds me actually, you are behind on the rent too.
Oh, we have a call. Hello? Finlo. Hey. Pina, is that you? Bingo. What's up? All stuff. What's the cross? You still in bed after the accident? Yeah, no, I'm back on my feet now. I even played basketball for a colleague yesterday. You play basketball? I wish I'd seen that. Anyway, are you free right now by any chance? I, uh, yeah, I'm still at home. I'm on my first night shift tonight. Oh, exciting. Are you nervous? Nope, not yet. I'm sure that will change later. Hey, <laughs> sounds like a little structure will do you good. Well. You think you could swing by my store? I could see your help. Uh, I want to check out the Ike Street anyway. Sure, I'll stop by. Perfect. Thanks so much. See you soon. Okay. The star Ike Street. Say the Ike Street. I don't know if it's that the, the street that I take when I go when I went to the first time to uh, to the hospital or not. Ike Street. You again. We are doing work on the town fountain today. I want to take the Ike Street today anyway. Alright, guess we are good then. Oh, we cannot. This is not the Ike way? Okay. I thought this was the Ike way. Because, you know, Ike, you need to go up. So they are doing some job on the fountain. Did it appear something? I haven't had a single ice cream this time. Um, I knew I was forgetting something. Oh no. Pi paste is my only weakness. What dashly will and place the cinnamon bonds here? In broad daylight. I'll find you, you scoundrel. I'll find you and you will taste my sweet revenge. Hey mannequin, you are doing a great job. Thank you. It's my first day. I'm really nervous. Don't be, you look great. Thank you, thank you. But it takes more than good looks to succeed in the fashion industry. Really, what else do you need? Willpower, the will to assert yourself in order to keep your goals. And a clear head, lots of people get taken for a ride on their first job. I got myself a successful agent straight away. They handle all my management now. That sounds good, maybe I should try it. Are you sure you got what it takes? I think so, what's the pay like? I, uh, I have to get back to work now. Stop distracting me. The fashion shows of this war are depending on me. Okay, okay, good luck. I'll try. I'll keep my fingers crossed on you. When you look as good as me, you don't need luck. Hi, my name is Chloe Colbert. I run Origami, the stationery store. Do you have a moment to answer a few questions? Sure, what's up? Oh, super. We have noticed that our revenues have been on the climb for some time. So we're conducting a survey of porcupines and to see what we can do. Alright, shoot. Alright. So first question, approximately how many pens do you own? Oh wow, that's a tough one right off the bat. I guess if I had to put a number on it, maybe five? Five pens, okay, okay. How many times a day do you use a pen? I need a lot of them when I was at university. These days I, don't know, I do most things digitally. Even the hospital went digital just before I moved to Porcupine. I see. What about paper? Do you use paper? For writing, not so much. Okay. Alright, that's it. Thank you for your time. We'll try to pivot our portfolio to meet the current needs of porcupine population. No problem, happy to help. Yes. No potential zone is complete without a shared salon. At least this one doesn't have some elaborate pun in its name. Hair today, gone tomorrow, curl up and die, shortcuts. I've seen them all before and every time they make my screen crawl. Oh no, we got white! Thank you for the paint in my face! Fimbo! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Am I that? Ah! <laughs> you are the unluckiest person I know, you know that? I just wanted to come and help. I know, thanks, and you really have to. Uh, what do you mean? I need an idea for my facade. Looks like you sort that out for me. I'm just glad I brought all the plants in first. <laughs> that looks sweet. That looks with you, you should wear it more often. You think? 
Absolutely, it adds that much needed touch of color to your face. What if it dries on me? Do you want to come in and wash up? I better add, right? Don't want to stay in the beds on the ward later. Let's get to it then. That's my super duper fast dry paint you are wearing there. That's not a good thing. That's more like it. You really are a walking sasta area, aren't you? First a box hits you on the, f on the head, now a bucket of paint. Maybe it really is just bad luck. You know what I just realized? I haven't seen... I haven't even been inside your store before. Nice place you have here, I'm impressed. Thank you, I've put a lot of work into it. How's business going? How do you think? I love my plans, and so does everyone else. Are you still looking for an assistant? If you are interested in the position, I'll be expecting a formal application, young man. Hey, it was worth a shot. How's your head? I'm starting to get used to the bumps. We'll buy you a helmet with a capital F on it. That way everyone can see you coming. And ruin my hair? Never. Have you got time for a day out tomorrow? You know I don't actually want a helmet, right? No, I want to go to the Globe Milk Woods. Wanna come with me? Finley, can you hear me? Hello? What? I, st I think I still have paint in my ears. Some careless person dropped a bucket on my head. I'm really sorry. It's alright. Yeah, I mean, old land hair is good for the elf. Great. Okay, time for me to head for to my night shift. See you tomorrow then. We'll just meet up at my store again. And watch your head, Finley. Okay, so... So tomorrow is the day off, is it? Because of what it said. <laughs> That's very cool. Isn't there a bus thing over here to go to uh to hospital? This one doesn't work, is it? Oh, probably that's supermarket. But we don't have time, we have to go to the fucking hospital! Before it starts our uh, uh, night shift. Look at this house, got that. Who the hell lives in this one? Looks like school's out of this school for the day. Oh man, you really start missing your time in school when those days are gone. Well, not the time in school exactly, more like time generally. There used to be so much of it. Okay, so that's school here is the thing. Can you, can you do it again? I won't, let me see. the fuck is this guy? Hello? Hey. I'm feeling, are you okay? Sure, I'm great. Can you go now, please? Oh, sure, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. What's with all the spots? Is that some kind of costume? Costume? Oh, no. Wow. Okay. Let me only see if the... No, it's bucket. Right, let's go to the hospital, is what it is. I thought you could do the basketball again, you know, have a harder one to face or something like that, but probably not. Instead of coming from the front, I come from the back. Like that, I surprise everyone that works on the on the hospital.
We have reached to the hospital. Okay, reach there. Come and get me, Holly, if you dare. JLA, scary cat. Stand still. Why are you always such a chicken? Come here. Hey, no running down here. Oh, my old nerves. What's going on here? The Andersons are what's going on. They brought those two punks in this morning. Emergency, they say. Really? They seem pretty healthy to me. Borrowed is more like it. The pair can stay in their beds for more than one minute. They are always bickering. Should I go check on them? Up to you. I'm sure you'll get to know them soon enough. In fact, they are both in your ward. Someone probably should check on them though. Otherwise, we'll need two body bags before the day's out. But where the hell are they gonna be? This way there. Probably on the where those cards were. There we go. That's stupid. You are stupid. You no you Oh, you think you are funny, huh? No, I don't. I think you are stupid. You are stupid. What's going on here? Rudy stole my dessert. That's not true. You just didn't get any dessert. What can I do about that? Lie, you mean. You are mean. I didn't do anything. You always say that. Where the hell did they went now? Inside or what? They want inside. Yeah, probably they want inside. We go and check. They said uh, Ingrid said that it was about in our ward. Probably they went to there. I wonder. Oh no, have you seen the two bros? They just came zooming by here. I guess they haven't ripped each other's heads off just yet. Hey, I guess not. It's not like one had st stolen the other's shirt. Oh man. I'll be honest, I won't stand for that either. But they both need to calm down a bit. Before one of them kneels over them. I'll keep an eye on them. Better make it two. First night shift today, right? Yep, I only done early or late shifts up to now. Oh boy, nervous? Nervous, why? Crazy things happen here at night. I'll be glad to be out of here in a minute, let me tell you. Have a nice evening then. See you in the morning. Only if you survive the night, Kido. Trying to scare us, huh? Carl? Hey, Finley. Mia, you look busy there, huh? Yeah, it's been kind of crazy. The Andersons in room 300 you will keep still for 5 minutes. I can't deal with that kind of thing. Yeah, I just saw those two myself. Really? Where? Downstairs at the main entrance. Oh dear, and I just got them back into bed. Anything I need to know? The Andersons poisoned each other. What? Were they trying to kill each other? No, no. 
it wasn't there, but I'm sure they can explain it better themselves. I'll look into it right away. It can be that bad, the way they are running around. I don't know. The tests we took at lunch time didn't look so great. You definitely won't get bored anyway. And I... Going now. Oof. All I want to do is go lay down on the couch. You've earned it. Get some rest. See you tomorrow. Break a leg. Okay. We have our tasks to the load. Okay, well it's the two brothers and again uh, the this lady, the Miss Irma or Miss Di Calma. Hello Irma, how are you this evening? Beautiful, isn't it? The fall. It's just a pity it always gets dark so early. I won't mind a few more hours of sunshine. It's bright enough in here though, luckily. True, but a long walk in the fall air will do me good. Still, you're right. You know, when I was young, light wasn't a given. We always had to catch it first. Catch it? The light? It used to be more agile than we are used today. It was quite tricky. I'll tell you the story if you like. Tell me more. Alright, but only if I'm not keeping you from your work. It's okay, think of it as a part of my job. That's true. I'm your page after all, hehe. <laughs> Alright, let's see now. Before the world street lights in Porcupine, we had to come up with other solutions if we wanted to read at night. That's where a training light catcher like me comes in. Catching light isn't as easy, of course. You can't just open a, a jar in the morning and put the lid on when it's full. Try it, you won't get a uh, fairy fire, I'll tell you right now. The thing is, light is fantastical fast. There's nothing faster than light. By the time you put the lid on, the light already sneak out again. Then night comes and everyone's stumbling out about in their pajamas again. Anyway, no one no, knew what to do, of course. I tried putting out bait. Maybe the light will like peace to you or chocolate truffles. But it didn't. What it like were the pears my husband Gilbert had growing in the garden. One night I saw these lights, little lights swirling around the pears and settling on their skins. Eureka, I thought. Irma, now you got it. It's hard to screw fruit into lamps, of course, so I asked the local glass blower to make us pear shaped charts. And what do you know? Once we began using the pear shaped glass or bulbs as they as the glass blower called them, the light came into our parlors at the speed of light and we could finally read at night. Of course nowadays we use a little this to tickle the light so it knows when to come and go. Light switch on, light switch off, you know how it works. Light switch off, you know how it works. And that's how I became a light catcher. If I'm honest though, I never actually caught the light. It's far too fast for that, you know. Anyway, that's how things were back then. I've never been good at physics, but it all makes sense to me. I'll take a closer look at my lamps at all. I all right, now you told me all about catching the light, but not how you are doing. How are you feeling today? I think I don't know exactly. It's strange feeling not being able to answer that question. I haven't slept this much in years, and I'm feeling a little chilly. Let me take a look. Okay, again, this one. We're gonna put the feet. Uh, heart, no, heart. Not teeth, bones, and hand. Okay, there's two that are on the wrong position. Okay, still on wrong position. Still two on the wrong position. Where the hell? Okay, so there's no feet and no uh, heart. One is in the wrong position. Okay. 
There we go. Is that an A? No, it's a B. Boo. Your fever is a little higher than before. At least we know it's pneumonia. Now, we are going to keep giving you medication until the symptoms subside. The most important thing is to bring your temperature down. That will help you sleep better too. My goodness. This couldn't have been so much trouble when I was younger. Yes, yeah, so far the immune system weakens with age. Well, looks like you are stuck with me a little longer, doctor. The weird old lady with her oddball stories. How terrible. Yes, you don't know what you got in yourself into. Occupational hazard. You sleep better now. You need to get some rest and we'll soon have you back on track. I know I'm a doctor and it's about a bit of a cliche, but sleep really is usually the best medicine. I agree. Thanks. Damn it. A B. That was bad. Okay, so Freehan and Chiu, that is the brothers. Faker, quitter, I drank half the bottle. Yeah, right, I saw you spit it out because I had to puke. I puked first. Boys! He always starts it, he never stops. Boys! You are suffering from fever, vomiting, diarrhea, and headache. May I ask why? Mold fight. Yeah, mold fight. Do I even want to know? We found this moldy old bottle in the basement. Orange juice. Champagne. It was fermented. Frothy orange juice. No, gloppy yellow champagne. I think I'm going to be sick. Let's take a closer look. Which one of you is Oliver? Here. Ha, ah, Holly's always first. First in losing, maybe. Blockhead. Oh, man. Holly. Holly's the toughest guy. What are we going to do now? I'll, I'm going to have to give you an injection. Whoa, what? No way, needles are totally lame. He's scared. Look, he's shaking. I'm not. I'm so not shaking. Come on, doc. Let's get this over with. Hold still, please. This won't take a moment. Who's E to find the best place to insert the needle? Once you have done that, hold E to draw. So, who's to find the best place to insert? Once you have done that, hold E to draw the right amount of blood or administer the right amount of medication. How do you know? Can you move with the mouse? Okay. A little bit weird, I'm gonna be honest. Right, all done. Look, I didn't feel a thing. Piece of cake. Hmm. Face it, I'm just really brave. They probably gave you the kitty injection. That's not sweat. I can do it too. Okay, so it must be Rudy, right? I'm going to give you the same thing. Here we go. But I still don't understand what's the point of this. I'm gonna be honest. Like, what the hell are we seeing? B? How the hell is that to be? Huh. I don't know. I shook less than all, didn't I, Doc? Liar, come on, Doc. You know I was the best. Whatever it was you drank, it's infected you with bacteria. Shigella, Shigella, it is no joke. Yeah, Shigella fight. No, no, Shigella, no, no, Shigella fight. This is serious. You got a disease called Shigellosis. Which can really na be really nasty. Both of you are still contagious. We are going to need to implement hygiene and safety precautions to make sure no one else on the war catches your disease. But I got more shigalosis than Oli, right? I have not. I have two. Yognarch is exactly the same, Rudy. Ha! Boys? Yes? Yes? Forget it. It's like, goddamn, I have to get out of here. These dudes. Hey, Finley. Hey Carl, how's it going? Pretty well, actually. People are sleeping well today. Sun and I even had time for a round of UCT. UCT? 
during cup toss is that a thing sure sana and i are on team ursula we have been training it's one of those things you can only really do at night, but that's not what I came here for. Your razor sharp sense, I've probably already told you this, but Krokowski isn't here tonight. Thanks to the outstanding seamless planning of the work rota, there is actually no ward supervisor here at all tonight. As the most senior person here, that leaves me in charge of the most tasks until Dr. Krokowski gets back on shift tomorrow. That doesn't sound so bad. It sure isn't. However, it does mean that I need to sign off on your treatment outcomes. That's a pain. A thankless task. You won't win many friends that way, you know. Alright, let's get this over with. It's gonna be a B, right? Yeah. Always a fucking B. Well, what can I say? I think that all looks cool. Considering how new you are, there's nothing to complain about here. Way to go, feeling Really? So, how was that? This I sound like Dr. Krakowski? I feel weird. It's okay, Carl. Don't worry about it. This was so much nicer than the lectures I get from Dr. Kakowski. Hey, alright, I think the rest of the night will be quite one. Put your feet up a little. Try to relax. We'll do another quick run before the end of the shift and that's it. What do I do? Excuse me. There's water dripping through the ceiling. I'm all wet. That's going from P room P41. Is that Irma? I better check it out. Oh god, Irma, what's going on here? You are so good to the bone. There you are, I don't know. I was just lying here and suddenly my blanket was wet. Before, believe you me, it was quite a relief when I realized it wasn't my fault. I thought I was really getting to creep. Goodness, it feels like that time our water bear burst. Uh, it was little Gillian birth and I wanted pirate uh, party. I had no idea who was going to make it like us up early wearing his pirate costume. Those toy pirate hooks were pretty sharp back in the day, you know. Hold on, just let me push you out of the way here. I'm so sorry about this, we'll take care of it right away. Then we'll get you some new clothes and an extra cozy blanket. What's going on here? Carl, it's a rain it's raining from the ceiling. I can see that. Let's go upstairs and see where the water's coming from. What about Irma? Holy hot pot, what's going on here? Sander, good to see you. I thought you guys were having a party. Can you take care of the, of Mrs. D. Calma? She's in urgent need of fresh clothes and bedding. Sure, no problem. Uh, I was just about to anyways. Finally, we need to fetch Gregor and let him know. He's been, he's been working on the fourth floor ward all day. Let's try there first. Alright. Irma, someone's going to come and take care of you right away, okay? Thank you. It's getting a little chilly under this ground. You guys head upstairs. I'll take care of the patient. Luckily, we got a free bed in 303. Thanks, Sandra. Come on, Phil, let's go check upstairs. Okay, better hurry. I didn't bring my swing shorts. Okay, we need to go to Gregor, that's on the fourth floor. Where the hell is he? He's not in here. Gregor! Holy shit. There's water in one of the patient's rooms. You don't take it. Last I checked, they weren't building a swimming pool on this floor. Don't you think we need to find the cause of it? I'm on it, kid. But if you want to help, go up a floor. To the fifth floor? But it's locked and closed it off. Here's the key. Use this to unlock the door at the top of the staircase. Just don't tell Teobald, okay? I'm in enough trouble with him as it is. You go on ahead. I will be there in a minute. In the fifth floor. What's the matter? Nothing, everything's okay. What are you waiting for then? I'm not waiting for anything. You are not scared, are you? No, I'm not scared. It's just last time I was up here, I had the accident. 
That's right, but this time I'm here. I'll look out for you. It's just an ordinary hospital ward, except for the smell, maybe. Yeah, you're right. It's just a ward, like all the others. All right, then let's go and see where that water is coming from. Okay, it needs to be to the right. Where the hell is that water coming from? Not on that one. Always with the door open. It's over here. Carl, look up here. The pipes burst. I can see that and I can feel it too. My clothes are already soaked. How could something like this happen? The old pipes basically turn to rust. Well, you've seen for yourself how dangerous it gets up here. This water's raining now. Maybe it really was for the best to just shut it down. What a mildew infested dump. Huh. Someone is coming. Oh, it's Gregor. I say it time and time again, but no one listens to old Gregor, do they? Even thought he's the one who was to handle it every time. Have you seen it, Gregor? Yes. The heating pipes burst. Hold on. Okay. Old Gregor doesn't have it easy. Old Ursula has been through a lot over the last few decades. I do what I can, but I can't be everywhere at once. But when I'm not there, no one takes care of the old lady, and I want the old lady to be alright, even if I don't have the resource or the time or the back of a 20 year old. As long as old Gregor's still standing, Ursula will too, alright? Thank you, Mr. Glendower. Don't be so dramatic, you old fart. I'll be on my way then. I'll have a look at the pipe over the next few days. Right now, I've got other things to do. Sounds like the hospital in part 2 Could be, I guess. You were pretty hard on him. Why not? We have been our share of arguments. He's never around when we need him. I can't rely on him. Take today, for instance. Who found the broken pipe? We did. Who arranged for repairs when the elevator got stuck? We did. I did. You did. All that old fart has to do is slap some tape on it and it's all good. If you say so. Everything okay? I don't know. I feel funny. What do you mean? Are you sick? No, but I haven't been up here since the accident, so? Well, everything's gone. The desk, the blood, the eerie noise. What are you talking about? Do you even remember what happened? Yeah, I do, but wait. How do you know what happened? I was the one who found you up here. Really? Yeah, you and all aren't. And you didn't see anything out of the ordinary? Well, two bleeding and unresponsive people lying on the floor isn't what I exactly would call ordinary. I was looking for Arndt, then I heard a bang, so I rushed up here straight away. I actually thought you couldn't get up here anymore, but it looks like I was wrong. You two clearly managed it. I dragged you both to the door, then Dimi and Archie helped me carry you. You are lucky they happened to be in the stairwell. They were looking to grab a cup of coffee. For someone so small, you are pretty heavy, you know that? Did you see anything else? Was there anyone else here? Finally, it was just the two of you, half buried under a load of box, I promise. Why would I lie to you? This ward's a disaster area. That's why it was shut down a few years ago. Now it's just for storage. Everyone dumps their junk gear. No one really looks after it. It was only a matter of time before someone got hurt. Mr. Arndt ended up here by mistake. He was very confused. He pulled out his drip and then merrily started bleeding all over the place. He probably tripped over his own tubes and or bumped his head. And when he went after him, the whole pile of junk collapsed in on itself. Oh man. Yeah, it was quite a mess. Wanna head back out downstairs? Yeah, in a minute. I've got one more question. What happened here? Why is the ward closed? Look at it. This is a huge ward. We could lose it some space. Centers has a long history. This used to be an internal one hour ward. Uh, I spent my first few years at the hospital up here. That was a long time ago. At some point, they realized the damp was getting to the walls. Hospital managed to decide to close the ward. The staff even held a vault, and most of us were in favor. They say they will fix it up again once they have the money. As you can see, that hasn't happened yet. I see. Do you think they will ever get the ward up and running again? It will be a shame if they just left it here to rot. I wouldn't bet on it. We've basically gotten used to it over the years, and it gives folks a place to dump their old junk. Hmm. Can we go back downstairs now? I've still got a few more things to do. Sun's going to come up soon too. Yeah, let's go. Oh, and Carl. What oh, no. I... 
Thanks for hauling me down uh, from here after the accident. That must have been hard work. You bet your sweet butt it was. You're like I'm such an athlete. Sure you are. Sure you are, Carl. Okay. See you tomorrow. Sleeping during the day. Okay, almost all the boxes are unpacked, but I still need to do some few chores. The way things have been, I'll never get around to do, to it during the week. Weird. Why am I excited about having time to clean? Time change, I guess. Oh, can't kick that. Turn on the fan. Oh, you don't look so good. Cool. Maybe you just need a nice long drink. Wait here, I'll take care of it. The tap doesn't work. It was like that when I moved in. I made a call and they told me the down spot was clogged. My landlady promised me she'll take care of it. She just didn't say when. Oh well, I'll just take a cup with me. I'll better get water from the bathroom. I don't want that cool coming out of the train again. And a classy drink requires a classic set well. Time to prepare my page super plant cocktail. The ingredients are water. Yeah, that's it. One feeling special super mega plant cocktail coming right up. Fresh from the top. Bon appetit. Just make sure you get the taxi home, okay? Good morning, sunshine. Are you ready for our super awesome day out? Sure am. Just finished my charge. Charge. I thought it was your day off today. It is, but I'll never find time otherwise. Are you remembering to water the plant? Yep. Just took care of that. Promise? Yes. You better not be lying to me. I can't sense where my plants are dehydrated. I'm still holding the glass in my hand. You use a glass to water your plant? Sure, what's wrong with that? My plants get only the best water from the finest vessels. My water can cost as much as my car. You don't think you are maybe exaggerating a bit? Maybe. But it it was really, really expensive. Anyway, I'm all packed and ready to go. Why don't you come over to my store then we'll adult? What are we going to be doing? I'll tell you when we get there. Just tell me. I can't hear you. Come on. I think set no signal. <laughs> okay, so hope you can enjoy some gameplay of Fall of Porcupine. Like as you see, there's a lot of uh, dialogues. There's mini games. Probably with this guy now that you go with him on your day off. Probably there will be a mini game eventually. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. You know, a, a game to pass time, relax, you know, nothing like super complicated. There's puzzles to do, like that one that was the samples that I wasn't understanding very well what to do. But then uh, and then it's like always you are a doctor, you go to the patients, try to uh, to do, the, you know, the things of, of uh, what the doctor does, you know, and that's it. If you like this type of games where you have mini games, some puzzles and... Uh, uh, narrative, a, lo a lot of dialogue. You can buy it on Steam, it's already available. Uh, I think it came out on GOG too. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and see you guys next time.